exercise 22 is 8.1.4 show that we have homomorphism the category C from A to product In this category is isomorphic to the product the home set so from the category of any groups similarly another one for co-product home set of co-product of first position Basically, you could move the second position product or the first position co-product outside and it becomes product. So, a way to, a trick to remember this statement is that you are thinking of there are three positions, you start here product and we arrive here you become co-product and then you arrive here you become product just a small trick to remember this result okay so to prove this basically it's like the universal property actually one could even use this isomorphism to define define what is product in the category C or co-product in the category C so here is what we know this is product and this is product in the category of a set it's the product of a home set so it's product of sets it's Cartesian product let's check by translate this isomorphism to the universal property we familiar with so this is saying that saying that firstly product of ci satisfy universal property such that firstly so Think of, for example, the P the arrows point out. Okay, so the arrows point out to CI. Say J such that whenever you got any other object in the category C such that you got also maps from A to CI and maps from A to CJ. Basically, this is saying that call this AI and G. Basically, this there is an element in the right hand side of your first isomorphism. Right? Then the universal property is saying that there exists a unique map from A to this product. So mapping to this unique map A, which is homomorphism in the category C from A to this existing product of CI. This is bijective of sets because there's one one crisper because there exists unique. Okay. For exactly the similar reason we have also the second one. So I don't check it. 